I'm Dr. Sanghamitra, Director, Core The Dental Face and Hair Care. I'm a maxillofacial surgeon, laser dentist, implantologist, general dentist, and my main focus is on neuromuscular dentistry, nerve and muscle dentistry, the relationship of the teeth with the rest of the body in terms of the action of muscles and nerves. The question which was asked to me was, what are the problems that can be encountered between the age group of six years to 12? That means six to 12 years of age, a child is in a most active growth phase. This is a mixed dentition period. As we mentioned, that's between the age of six and seven, first molar comes into the mouth. Now this also brings to the fore a question that are baby teeth important? The answer is yes. Otherwise, Almighty would have given all permanent teeth in the beginning itself. But there's a reason for that. Because till the age of up to six, my spine is in a formation period. And it requires only that much strength which is provided by baby teeth. Now, the spine is grown, spine is formed completely and it only needs stabilization and growth, which is provided by the erupting permanent teeth. This is one part. Second part, we must understand that how teeth should be aligned. There is something called side fence and the front fence. Now, let me explain to this. This is an upper jaw. As you can see, this is an upper jaw. This is a lower jaw here. The lower jaw lies within upper jaw, that means this is being controlled. The movement of the lower jaw is being controlled by upper jaw. This is a side fence. Beyond this, the jaw should not move. This is a front face fence. So if the teeth alignment is incorrect, the, uh, during the growth phase, it can be corrected easily and later on to prevent surgical work or once the growth period is over, it's very hard to correct these problems without a major intervention. So what are the problems which we see between this age group? It could be that there is the lot of spacing is there or this is called edge to edge bite. That means there's no control of on the lower jaw. Upper jaw is fixed as we learned. Lower jaw is not being controlled by the upper jaw. It is the teeth in front are like this. So during this phase, if it is not during between six to 12 years, if the situation is not corrected, it is a possibility that jaw can grow forward and lead to a situation called lordosis, where the muscle force on the spine becomes much more than expected. That is one situation. Or it could be that the teeth are in crossbite, means now the overlap of upper on the lower, which is normal, instead it is a reverse situation. That means this is this is the situation. That means lower teeth are in crossbite. It can be a one side situation or it can be on both sides, unilateral or bilateral. So if it is unilateral, there is no side fence here. The jaw can grow in any direction. This will cause cant. The problems which we discussed in our previous videos, the, all those problems set in if there is a problem unilateral. Or if it is bilateral, there's no control on the jaw, it can go either way, wherever the muscle action is more, jaw will grow in that side. And cause this is the start of degenerative changes into the spine. There could be a possibility there's a deep bite. Now what does that mean? If you see here, you can see the bottom teeth clearly. There should be only a lower overlap of say about 1.5 to 2 millimeters. Beyond that, if there's low, the overlap is existing, that means the lower teeth are barely visible. That means this height is reduced. And that means there is an invasion into the tongue space. This is the place where our tongue resides. And there are a couple of things that happen here. This will not allow the proper eruption of the first molar tooth. This is a first molar tooth. It will not allow the eruption of the first molar tooth. It may tip inwards. That means this height is reduced. That means the lower third of the face height will reduce. That's one problem. Second problem, tongue will instead, if you invade into the tongue space, it will start falling onto the airway, leading to a situation called sleep apnea. 
If you think children don't get sleep apnea, that's wrong. Lot of kids with especially with deep bites suffer from sleep apnea. Then there could be a situation like crowded teeth. First and foremost, teeth cannot be cleaned properly. And if there's a crowding setting in, there's something called phase. Every tooth has a particular age to erupt into the mouth. And if it does not happen during that period of time, they should be taken out to facilitate the eruption of permanent teeth. This will allow the jaw to grow properly. Alignment of the teeth will be proper. Principle of arc, three-dimensional balance, golden proportion, and everything can be put into place. So that's the advantage of working between the 6 to 12 years of age group. We can take advantage of the active growth phase. It could be a possibility that the child has proclined teeth. That means teeth are forward. That means the behind, lower teeth are much behind. In those situations, what can happen? It, could, it is a possibility that the upper jaw is narrow. It may require expansion. So it's so much easier to do it between in this age group of 6 to 12 years. Once the growth phase is over, it requires surgery to correct that situation and it may not even guarantee that it will happen. So 6 to 12 years of age group, which is an active growth phase, is the most important phase of a child's growth. To maintain the arch form, to maintain the integrity of spine. To learn more about the relationship of teeth with the spine and the rest of the body, I request you to subscribe to Dr. Circle. Thank you.